Hey, yeah, so we're definitely not going to see as much snow as we saw yesterday, but we're going to see a little bit. We could get anywhere from one to three inches today. And yesterday we were talking about the lowland snow numbers. So coming up next, I'm going to talk about the mountain totals that we've received. But first, let me show you what it looks like here at one of our school net sites. This is the open window school in Bellevue. And again, they're about 1100 uh, feet up. So of course, they have a little bit more snow there. But take a look at it. Paul's bow. You can see some snow on the, the roofs and also on the um, trees there, but you cannot see Liberty Bay or the Olympics. So again, some of you might be dealing with reduced visibility as well as in Seattle. So yeah, the snow actually moving in a little earlier than anticipated. So uh, it will continue to push towards the north. So if you're not seeing any yet in Everett and beyond, you will be seeing it a little later on. So as we go hour by hour, we do expect any of those snow showers to transition to a rain snow mix and maybe even just rain itself as we continue. Our temperatures are a little bit warmer than this time yesterday and our daytime highs will continue to warm each day as well. I'll let you know what that means for your week ahead coming up. But in the meantime, let's get a check of the roads with Stephen. And yeah, as we start to see some snow fall down in some areas, it's uh, certainly uh, affecting the drive out there. So be careful if you have to head out anywhere and uh, and do something this morning. You might want to wait until later when that weather transition does happen. Let's take a look right now at I-5 and Northgate northbound where there was an accident blocking the roadway. It looks like it is now cleared of the roadway, which is good news, but those flares still remain there. Here's what it looked like a few minutes ago as they were beginning to clear this accident scene northbound I-5 just north of Northgate, but it is now gone as we saw with our live shot. Here's a look at 405 at Sunset Boulevard. This is Renton, both directions of 405 there. Not many people out on the roadways, which is probably a good thing. I-90 out at Highway 18. Also, um, you know, some snowy conditions there, as you would expect. And here's a look at 520 across the uh, floating bridge in uh, Lake Washington. You could see some snow there. And we're going to send it back into the studio now. Yeah, some uh, pretty dicey driving conditions in mm. some spots. Yeah, I definitely feel like things have gotten worse as the morning has progressed. Yes. Thanks, Stephen. So here's what it looks like right now as Storm King's driving in Fife right now. This is Pacific Highway. You can see kind of bumping around because of the snow that is now turned into um, ice out there. So definitely take it easy. Uh, the snow plows have definitely gotten around but can't get to all the neighborhoods, obviously, and can't keep up with all of the snow that continues to fall. The yep. plows have definitely been working overtime, working hard, especially down in Pierce County where it's been snowing since, you know, Friday night. Yeah, and uh, Lionel Donovan is in it again this morning. We, you made it safely to your live location this morning. It was quite the memorable epic day yesterday, my friend, with you getting stuck and everything. Where are you at this morning? And most importantly, did Sweet Luna make it to the live shot this morning? Luckily she did and right now she is safe in a parking lot somewhere being very, very much out of danger. But just to give you an idea of those dicey driving conditions that we talked about earlier, right now we are at the uh, intersection of Union and South uh, 26. And there was this video that we caught just a couple of minutes earlier of a car actually trying to make its way up this hill. Now at first it seemed as though the driver had enough momentum to try to make it up, but as they got further and further along, they were not able to make it. And then you slowly just, you could see them slowly start to slide uh, back down the hill. It was actually pretty unnerving for a moment because they weren't, uh, we weren't too sure if they were able to maintain control of the car. But luckily the driver thought about his situation and figured that it would be better for him to just go back down the hill and hopefully try to find another way to get to where they are going. Now, this is just a textbook example of how difficult it can be to drive along some of these unplowed roads. And there, the, you can see these roads all over Tacoma right now. Although the main roadways and the main arterials, those are plowed and those are relatively safe to drive along. These residential areas still have not gotten their roads uh, plowed. And so as a result, many of the roads have this large buildup of snow, not just from the snow that we've been seeing fall here since Friday, but from the plows that have pushed that snow, especially into the uh, entrances of the roads and driveways and cars that have just been buried by all this snow. Now we have been seeing uh, snow plows drive up and down the street, not just from the city of Tacoma, but also private towing companies as well have been making their ways along the road. But if you have to drive around today, please make sure to be very, very careful because as you can see, the danger is not over yet. Yeah, and it's just so difficult to get from those neighborhoods 
to those main arterials where it's actually clear. So hard to get traction, like we just saw that car yeah. uh, trying to get up that hill. Mm. You don't want to have to reverse down a hill. Mm. That's, that's always that's dicey. Not fun. Thanks, Lionel. Appreciate it. Glad you're safe this morning. Let's take a look this morning now at uh, a neighborhood in Seattle's Ballard neighborhood. Uh, the, it, the snow is so heavy that it's snapping branches and trees just like this at 6th Avenue Northwest and Northwest 46th Street. Barely missing these cars here. The road's still blocked. Neighbors hope they can get it cleared out, but we don't know when that will be. With the West Seattle Bridge closed, neighbors being snowed in this weekend really feel like they're on an island there. Some of the major streets, like Alaska Junction, they are pretty much cleared. Plows have been working around the clock to make everyone safe, but the problem is getting to them. As I mentioned, neighborhoods are so socked in. We spoke with some folks who are just simply making the best of it. For us to be able to come down the hill on our skis and enjoy the snow is pretty great. You don't have to sit in traffic on I-90. Yeah, it's always better than that. Avoiding the highway is probably the best this weekend. Here's what you'd be facing getting out of West Seattle to get to downtown. If you're not taking I-5, Highway 99 is your fastest route. But ask anyone in West Seattle who lives there. It's been a long, painful period, even so far, because of the bridge closure. It, it takes you twice as long to get yeah, out of there. It's yeah, it's brutal. Uh, neighbors concerned about the road conditions in Seattle as well. Let's check in now with Kelly Greenberg. She's in Seattle's Greenwood neighborhood, where it's still it's snowing. It looks so pretty out there, Kelly. It's beautiful. There are a few things that I've noticed. The first being coming from the Midwest, the neighborhood uh, vibe of the Greenwood Finney Ridge area mixed with the snow. I'm having some weird deja vu moments that take me back to Minneapolis, the outskirts of downtown Minneapolis. That is really what this looks like right now. The second thing, and I can't really show you this, you have to experience it for yourself. If you go step outside right now and you just stand there and you listen, it is so peacefully quiet and the snow is falling at that slower pace. It is, it's just a Zen moment. Um, but the, the lack of noise, just, you know, outside noise is it, really telling. It's just not there. Now the road here, this is Greenwood Ave. Uh, and this was plowed this morning. You can see the, the row in the middle of where all the snow went. And now it's slowly being covered again. You see the residential street on the way there. That one has not been touched. In fact, the cars uh, parked there, they're going to have some digging out to do. So this is 71st in Greenwood, snow coming down. The reason we wanted to move down the road and show you this is someone walked by us when we were down the street and said, you guys want to see something really cool? And we said, yes. So he said, 71st in Greenwood, check out this front yard. And this oh, took work. What's that? This it, is an igloo in oh, the front yard that is, he described it's it. It's designed to look like a monster like a on the monster. outside. I did try to see if. Can you fit yeah, in there, Kelly? Except you can it looks go like a small opening. Can you get can in? I, you know. Come on. I don't want to. <laughs> I her. could try. Here's the thing. I think the people who made this. I think they're still sleeping inside, mm -hmm. so we okay. don't, you know, <laughs> I don't want to wake them up. And, I don't want to crawl inside <laughs> and, and break their igloo without their permission. But look at the side here, all the blocks. I mean, this took work yeah. <laughs> yesterday. Oh, I, look at it that. It is very rare that you see a structure built like this uh, after cool. a snowstorm that is still it, standing Callie. the next day. And yeah. you want to? It yeah, looks like it's I mean, lit from the cool. inside. They have the lights inside and everything. And, huh. Yeah, so what it reminds me of a little bit is that um, creature made out of sand from the Aladdin movies. At least oh, the front of it, the monster yeah. front face. Uh -huh. The diamond uh -huh. in so. yeah. <laughs> I love that, and I love but that. He was I right. He's like, go down the street, and we'll show you something cool. That's neat. Yeah, they right. made actual blocks and then built it like an mm -hmm. igloo structure. That's, That's pretty elaborate. cool. elaborate. I love that. Yeah, yeah, everyone, it's very quiet, Mimi just pointed out, because everyone is still sleeping because they, they're so they tired just, yeah. from yesterday's activity. So much activity. <laughs> Well, for those of you who are just, or maybe they're just snuggled in. It's Valentine's Day morning. They're getting their cup of That's coffee. True. That's they're true. staying inside, waiting until it yeah, kind of melts a little bit and Go warms up. Go step out on the patio and just enjoy it yeah. for a moment. It is really pretty. I'm with it you. It is Good really idea, pretty. Kelly. Thanks. <laughs> uh, also, parking lots have been quite the priority for a lot of business owners to get things clear. This is in Shoreline as crews worked all day yesterday. 
And I'm, like I said, I'm going to get this for you for Christmas right here. I mean, you need one of these for your house. The crew also says they dug folks out on the roadways in between plow jobs. So a lot of, lot of work ahead of them today and tomorrow with more snow. I don't know where I'd park that thing. But, you know, it's not snowing, though. You That's get your own problem. garage. Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay. Here's a live look now at the conditions on the east side. Okay, these are live pictures, Jake, now. Okay. Before we were showing sort of frozen still <laughs> pictures, but these are live pictures. And you can see it's the snow has been falling on the east side. The road was clear earlier this morning, but because of the snowfall, this you can Bellevue. definitely see. Yeah, sorry, I did mention that. This is on the east side in Bellevue, right near Bellevue Square. So uh, Northeast 8th and Bellevue Way. Main roads in uh, Bellevue appear to have been plowed and are pretty easy to drive on. But the side streets are a different story, like especially the hills like this. Neighbors are socked in and cars like this. If you haven't, you know, left, uh, they just stuck there. No, there's a lot of uh, snow buried snow on top of the cars there. And then some of these roads, honestly, the side streets probably won't get plowed at all. You know, so we'll just see how it goes. You know, everybody parked down on the main road and and parked well and left their, you know, the windshield wipers up and, you know, they know the drill. Do you do that so they don't get stuck? Is that uh, why? Uh, like the ice? Why do they leave their windshield wipers yeah, up? Yeah, no, I just, that's an old trick from Ohio, actually. You leave your wipers <laughs> up overnight so that you, they don't get frozen to the ah, window. Okay, yeah. that's why. Uh, we did see many buses get stuck, though, and even a snowplow went off the side of the road because the roads were so slick. Yeah, you know it's bad then. Yep, look up at the mountain passes, though. This is Snoqualmie Pass, Copex, snow and ice on the roads. That's pretty typical for the mountains, though. Stevens Pass is back open if you have to cross Highway 2. Avalanche control work is now wrapped up, but chains are required. I had some friends at White Pass yesterday said it was awesome. Oh, I bet good skiing up there. 15 fresh inches yesterday or something it was great. All right, Michelle Lee's been tracking What's some happening? of the best what, pictures Michelle and video. Michelle is getting something <laughs> delivered. I can see. I can Who, see. I'm going to make a supposedly a coffee yes. snow drink at Jake's request. Yes. I think you're torturing me. In the <laughs> yeah. meantime, let me show you some great pictures. This is from Dennis and Deanne saying happy Valentine's Day. One more real quick I got to before we get to break. Uh, my granddaughter made a snow sculpture of the family dog Brady. Not to be confused with Tom Brady, by the way. We're back with your best pictures and videos coming up.